Hi there, this is Tony of Failpiece, putting together a quick little video to guide you through how to update the firmware on your JL JobLink Probe tools. As many of you have noticed, there was an update over the weekend that enabled data logging. And in order to unlock data logging on your tools, you need to perform an update to the firmware. That's all taken care of in the app. So. We're going to power on both of these tools and I'm going to show you on one because they all follow the same process. So here we go. We have two tools powered on. Uh, you'll notice instantly that when you enter the measurement screen, if your tool has not is not on the latest version of firmware for data logging, you will get this notification to update firmware update available in tool manager. Now you're not required to update to the firmware if you're on a job or if you just need to use your tools like you normally use them. The only time you would need to perform the update is if you want to use the data logging functionality. So if you don't want to do this, just tap on the X to clear it out or you could tap on update to perform the update. Now here in the firmware update screen, all the tools that have not or that, yes, that have not previously been updated to the latest firmware are going to show up here. You only see one because this tool has already been updated to the latest firmware and that's why you will not see it there in the list. However, this tool, number 1016, has not been updated. So we will perform the update for this tool. So the first step is we tap on the tool that we want to update. And here are the instructions. Um, we need to set the tool into firmware update mode. Now you can click on this link to watch a video on how to do this part, but you're watching this video, so you should be fine. And the steps are laid out in the process here, but I'm just going to demo. So I'm going to power the tool off. I need to remove the battery. It's not a process you're going to be doing all that often. There's not going to be many firmware updates to the tools themselves, but for this feature, we needed to update the tool firmware. We're going to remove a battery. And we're going to press, press and release the power button on the tool for about 15 to 20 seconds. For the pipe clamp, you need to do it probably a full 30 seconds. But this is just to discharge the tool from any residual voltage from the batteries. Okay. Then the next step on the list of instructions is press and hold the power button while installing the battery and hold it there for five seconds. After five seconds, you will get a solid blue light, which indicates that your tool is ready to be firmware updated. Now, if you got the normal green blinking light or a green solid light, that means you did it wrong and you need to remove the battery and make sure you press this, press and release it while the battery is out for the full 20 to 30 seconds to completely discharge the tool and try it again. So now that that's set, I'm going to tap continue. And now it says, do not exit the job link until the firmware update is complete. You only update one tool at a time. So you would need to perform this step for each of the job link probes that you have. I'm going to tap update. First, it will download the firmware and then go into update. When the tool is updating, the blue light begins to blink. It's not solid anymore. And your updating process will take um, anywhere from two to three minutes. So for the sake of saving an edit, you're more than welcome to skip ahead in the video. Uh, however, hold on. Uh, one thing I do want to tell you is that um, sometimes for whatever reason, either something on the phone or something between the B BLE um, connection, but the firmware update might sometimes be interrupted uh, before it gets to 100%. If that is to happen, or if it just freezes at a number, what you need to do, well, what will happen is this will turn off. 
and then you won't be able to turn it back on into the regular green uh, blinking mode, which is fine because it, that's not what you want to do. What you got to do is put it back into the firmware update mode. So you would, you know, remove the battery, press the button, you know, a whole bunch of times to discharge it, press and hold the power button, put the battery in, hold it for five seconds, and then it'll turn back into a solid blue. And you just go back and run the firm, firmware update process again on that tool. Uh, just be sure that you stay in the app while the update is being performed. And like I said, if for whatever reason, the over the air firmware update is interrupted before a completion of 100%, that's how you can finish it, is put the tool back into firmware update mode and run the update again until it gets to finish. So we're about to wrap up here. The tool has been updated, fast, rapidly flashing blue, and now it just turns off. Your GL3RH has been updated to version 1.011. You can tap OK. If you had other tools powered on that still require a firmware update, they will list, they will be listed here. And then you just do, do the same thing. Tap on that tool and you're good to go. Also, if you also this update is available in the tool manager. So I'm gonna power both of these tools on. Actually, let's power them on. They've both been updated. So we're gonna to go to the tool manager. And you'll see that I'm on the latest version, 1.011, 1.011. If I wasn't on the latest version, then it would say here that an update is available. I would tap on the little button and it would take me back to that firmware update page uh, that we were. So that's how you perform an, a firmware update of the tools. Um, doing all six tools, it might take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, so you probably don't wanna do it when you're on a job site. Uh, do it when you're back in the comfort of your truck or back at home for the night. Um, and again, this update is to unlock data logging in the job link probes. So if you're not gonna use that, then there's no real reason to update the tools if you don't really need to. Well, thanks for watching um, and good luck with your firmware updates.